Okay, okay, we are back with more Lana Del Rey. Uh, Beautiful from Blue Bannisters, produced by Lana and Drew Erickson. We've we've definitely heard of Drew Drew Erickson before, I believe. Um, hell yeah, man, let's check it out. You know what I love? Wind chimes. This is what it reminds me of. Just keep it simple, babe. Don't make it complicated. Don't tell me to be glad when I'm sad. I really hate that. <laughs> I try not to be bad. Eccentricity is holding me back. If I could be more like you, I would, but I can't. And I'm glad about I wish there was a description. The tra something was happening there. It's like a transition. Um, well, I wish there was a description. Don't make it complicated. Don't tell me to be glad when I'm sad. Real shit. Uh, I try not to be bad. He he's interested. He's holding me back. If I could be more like you, I would. But I can't. I'm glad about that. Bars. Glad about that. I like that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, let's we'll just get more context. Bars. What if someone had asked How so not to be sad Never known who he was Or the man he'd become There would Damn. be no blue period Let me run with the walls Let me do what I'll do Oh Let my god Sadness can turn into happiness I can turn blue into something Beautiful Oh that was the chorus Fuck, I paused on the damn chorus. I'm, it's all right. It's all right. I'm loving this, dude. That's the thing is that like, you're going to be sad. Everyone gets sad and depressed at times, man. Life's a fucking goddamn roller coaster. It, it, we live in the moment 24 seven. We're always in the moment. You, you get in the, when you're looking in the past, thinking of the future, you're still in the moment. You're just in your head. And like, you're not always going to be happy. You're not always going to be sad. When someone's sad, man, just do whatever you can for them you know what i mean and i don't mean from your perspective like oh you know help them give them this give them that no maybe they just want to be alone and that's what you can do is let's leave them alone maybe check in every now and then uh you know maybe if they want to talk you can ask them but yeah man i feel like being sad is very important being sad sucks it leads to a lot of bad things but i think it's an important thing for growth and like she said with picasso like there's a lot of amazing art that comes from sadness and pain and loneliness and depression all that shit a lot of great music is coming out of that and she's pointing out to like more visual art and that's also very true it can apply to a lot of things that sadness and despair can push people to like really to do amazing things wow i'm loving this dude let me show you how sadness can turn into happiness i love that i can turn blue i can turn blue into something beautiful oh man let me do what i do let me show you Sadness can turn into happiness. I can turn blue into something beautiful, beautiful, beautiful like you. Beautiful, oh, that's cool. The piano. Beautiful, beautiful like you. I wish you said that to me. <laughs> simple babe we can't afford to change it don't turn me into something i'm not there's no way to sustain it. i try not to hold back it seems either way it makes you mad so i'll be who i'll be if you think that that's cool then i'll take you back what if someone had asked Ah, oh, dude, dude, the chorus and pre-chorus is amazing. Um, and I'm really liking the verses too. But don't turn me into something I'm not. There's no way to sustain it. You, you shouldn't be trying to make anyone something they're not. Let people be themselves and encourage them to be themselves. Uh, unless they're like a psychopathic murderer, you know what I mean? Don't encourage that shit, but I shouldn't even have to say that. But some people, you know. Um, I try not to hold back. It seems either way, it makes you mad. So I'll be who I'll be. Um, I'm, I'm still kind of curious. He's interested. He's holding me back. It sounds like she left him. 
but I can't, and I'm glad about it. I, I think... I, I don't know, I'm a little bit lost here, man. I wish there was a description. <laughs> you cry. What if someone had asked? Castle not to be sad. Never known who he was or the man he'd become. There would be no blue period. Let me run with the walls. Let me do what I do. Let me show you how sadness can turn into happiness. Oh my god, the pianos. Loud. This track is beautiful. beautiful like you. Wow. <clears throat> Especially the pianos playing in the high uh, octaves. The song's making me sad, <laughs> but I don't want, I don't want to get too, you know, I don't want to get too sad. You know, I'm trying to turn my sadness into happiness, man. You know what I mean? Um, wow. That was a really pretty song though. So freaking pretty. Um, and it's funny because the song's called Beautiful. And it's like, I think of like, what other song I know called Beautiful other than like Eminem's Beautiful, which is a great track. I Classic, classic top tier uh, Eminem track beautiful but like when you listen to it it doesn't sound beautiful you know like maybe he says some beautiful things but this song this engulfs beauty like it's literally called beautiful the entire track is fucking beautiful lyrically instrumentally and just conceptually like it's just i love it it's really cool stresses independence from others embraces her melancholy arguing that without sadness and independence she wouldn't have accomplished what they had in their careers oh yeah and many others like uh, picasso uh del rey throughout the song subtly asked permissions for the independence from her lover stuck in a haze of doubt the song's instrumental are simply yeah 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 confliction she displays in her lyrics so this is really what it's about right here i mean you know the, the relationship aspect she wants independence from her lover because her lover was trying to make her some she's not and that's why she said, you know, if I, I'm just going to do me, and if you, you like that, then, you know, I'll come back. Ooh. But, I mean, if your partner's trying to, like, change you, that's... Is that not, like, a red flag? Like, they should already just want you to be yourself. I feel like if someone wants you to be anything that, other than yourself, that's just a red flag. These instrumentals, keeping it simple, yet the beautiful... Yeah, I guess it was kind of simple. It, was, it wasn't too crazy or complex, yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? This is perfection. <laughs> I love when people like say, are you fucking kidding me? And they're not being mean. You know what I mean? Because like whenever someone says that, I'm always going to assume that something mean's going to come afterwards. But <laughs> that wasn't the case. Sincere music like Lana can do it really well. Surely this is one, if not the most introspective, honest and gorgeous song that Lana has ever recorded. I love introspective music. And Lana has a lot of songs that are introspective. It's hard to say that this is the most introspective. The song's so good on repeat. I can see that. Yep. Most beautiful songs. Beautiful is an understatement. This is heavenly. The song sounds like it samples the song NFR at one part. I didn't notice that. <clears throat> wow. I enjoyed that, man. That's a really pretty sad track. And there was that glimpse of hope in it. You know what I mean? That glimpse of... Uh, just not giving in and keep fighting and shit. You know, and keep grinding and shit. Um, yeah, man. Keep your delete. Keep. While I rate this one. Hmm. I'm just going 9-0. I was debating if it should be like an 8-9 or 9-0. But you know what? Like, it's just all around great track. 9-0. Going to my playlist for sure. Um, and it might go up. 
I think this the rating might go up. But for, for right now, man, 9-0, really cool track.